Hey Jake with B&H, welcome back to my bedroom. It was only two years ago that we reviewed the original Mavic Air, and in that short amount of time, DJI has dramatically increased the product's potential output with the new DJI Mavic Air 2. Lots of new features and upgrades to talk about. Let's go through all of them together. I'll show you some sample shots we were able to pull off while practicing social distancing. So the highlight feature has to be the 4K at 60 frames per second video. This is huge because the only other DJI consumer drone that could shoot 4K 60p was the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, which is a more advanced drone and a little bit more money. For those unfamiliar with frame rates, 4K 60p is going to provide you with more creative freedom in video editing because you can now slow down certain moments in your shots for a cinematic effect while keeping that high resolution. I also want to mention some amplified editing options. There is an H.265 video codec you can shoot in, the D Cine Light Color Profile, and RAW Photography for even more advanced editing. Speaking of photography, 48 megapixel photo. The new camera allows you to shoot photos with a high dynamic range and up to 48 megapixels. This is probably best used to capture a wide cinematic landscape because you can use that extra resolution to zoom in during post-production and show a person on top of a rocky mountain range or in a canoe in a vast body of water. HDR, the Quad Bayer filter provides the ability to shoot photos and videos in HDR. Mavic Air 2 offers a collection of HDR features consisting of HDR video, panorama, and photos. Currently, no other DJI drone offers all three HDR features. Uh, this is probably best used in a cinematic landscape with a high contrast lighting situation like a sunrise or a sunset. The Mavic Air 2 inherits the reliable OcuSync 2.0 video transmission from the Mavic 2 and improves the technology even further featuring a 2.4, 5.8 GHz auto switching to cut through interference and provide a live stream from the drone up to 1080p. And please remember that the drone must remain within line of sight and you should always follow local rules and regulations. The Mavic Air 2 offers an amazing 34 minutes of flight time, a dramatic increase compared to the original Mavic Air, which is only 21 minutes. Uh, drone flight time is increased when the drone is in motion versus just hovering in place, so keep that in mind. More battery life means more fun and more footage. Now on to my favorite uh, feature of the drone, hyperlapse. Coming directly from their top tier Mavic 2, uh, the Mavic Air 2 supports the same advanced hyperlapse mode to capture the passing of time in a very unique way. There are four modes of hyperlapse. There's the free mode where the operator has complete control, the circle mode where the drone automatically circles a subject while capturing images, course lock where it locks onto a subject and the Mavic Air 2 will fly straight, keeping the subject in the middle of the frame. And then waypoint where you set up to five points and have the drone follow these points while recording the hyperlapse. It's a cool way to like reveal a new element behind a building for instance. APAS 3.0 utilizes an advanced mapping technology for smooth following and reliable obstacle avoidance in complex scenarios. The obstacle avoidance performance has dramatically improved compared to previous generations and has the ability to plan automated flight paths. Last but certainly not least is the newly designed remote controller that boasts an impressive long battery life and features an ergonomic design for a more comfortable grip I can attest I held it and I used it very comfortable. The new clamp makes attaching smartphones faster and easier, while integrated antennas greatly improve the user experience. So with a drone like this, DJI is bringing high-end drone features to a mid-range drone at an affordable price point. Mavic Air 2 is the middle ground between the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2, offering advanced intelligent functions and all the tools you need to deep dive into your editing game. So what's your favorite feature of the new Mavic Air 2? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks again for joining me in my bedroom. This is Jake with B&H. Just keep rolling.